Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Rui Faria likes to shelve powdered clam juice. It's a bad habit. The special favour had to be that Kude was the only person willing to perform a eulogy at the funeral for the death of Rui Faria's playing career. Ho. Oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Youth Squad Legends with Lincoln City. The Lincoln City shirt will be back on eventually. I'm just going to go through the comments sections quicker than the last couple of occasions because we've we built up storylines for the players now. Only the great comments are going to add on to storylines that we've already got. Okay? Okay. Let's go on to edit player. Amit Banai is going to customise burnt some number 12 long sleeve. Leaves tucked, yes, tucked, shirt, high socks, orange boots, orange gloves, the orange boots are there, he's already got a tucked in shirt, he's already got the number 12, orange under armour, but then does it match up, no, they're adidas, oh, but it's probably the only orange that I'm going to get, by the way, it's tremendous when someone like Amit comments, because he's been watching the series for a long, long time. Okay, comment section. Let's hit this up. Ollie Mason has a nice belly button. These stories are outrageous. Heard a rumour that Rosenberg has given Pennington a call in regards to the Magnuson matter. Let's hope Magnuson stays out of dark alleys until this is resolved. Rui Faria thinks Earth, Wind and Fire is a good band. They are. Go suck your mum. YSL comments could be its own series, not gonna lie. Rui Faria is the type of guy that eats two gummy bears at a time so they don't die alone. That's actually quite sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the gummy bears are quite sweet as well. Since Harvey Hall can't tie his boots, Ed Kelly gave him unique inside <laughs> Velcro boots. Give Rui Faria at least one job. Like, let him be good at something. Tying boots? Yeah. Alfred's asked me, why haven't I played Harvey Hall at centre bike? Well, uh, have you seen his goal scoring record? I mean, more. Castaneda took the water from Earth, Wind and Fire. They originally wanted to be called the Four Elements, but Castaneda was like, nah. <laughs> That one's good. That one is good. Well done, BL Smithy. Oh. Jesus can walk on water. Harvey Hall can swim on land. Hello? Rui Faria is the type of guy that sends a second Facebook friend request after the first one is declined. I swear like three people have said Rui Faria is the type of guy that puts the milk in before the cereal. Interesting. Okay, and that is the end of the comment section, everybody. Yes, you see, I didn't take as long as what I did last time round. Lincoln City gonna have to play in their away strip here because Accrington Stanley have a red home shirt and a white away. Can't remember talking about Harris. To be fair, I can't remember playing Accrington Stanley at all. It's a 54 overall centre-back. Actually, since we are playing Accrington Stanley, there's one more haiku that I've got to give to you. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Dastardly tactics. Accrington Bastard Stanley. We will not forget. Oh yes, here he is, a top goal scorer in the league. Yes, we'll highlight him now because he's only been the top goal scorer in the league all season, but we've not really paid attention to it apart from every single time I've loaded up a game of FIFA in this League 2 campaign. Talk about something else. Talk about how Castaneda returned triumphantly from the injury, scoring the winning goal. Talk about how Earth, Wind and Fire can go so the mum. Bjorn A running. I've got control of Bjorn A running. That one's going near the penalty spot where Yuko Ike is. You see, he doesn't do anything coming up for our corner kicks, but can do a job defensively as Castaneda somehow finds Yuko Ike. Don't ask me how. Here's Axelson. The path into Harvey Hall is a good one. And Harvey Hall! Oh, who wants to put that guy at centre back? You go, EK. Castaneda's making a run. Harvey Hall's making a run. It's a decent assist. Harvey Hall's bang the goal. You go, EK made it. Who to sing about? Wake me up before you go. Go. Who needs Vity when you got you go? We all dream of a team of Harvey Halls. A team of Harvey Halls. A team of Harvey Halls. Yeah. Castaneda. 
Asking for the return, Castaneda. Oh, tried to play Vilho in. Chapman there. Good work by Lincoln, though. And the passing's been incredible. 81% to Accrington Stanley, 70. Nice one. Latov, Lovici, Castaneda. Oh, Holly Hall was onside. Just fed it back to Castaneda. He's like, cheers, mate. He doesn't miss them sort of chances. He's probably better in the one-on-ones compared to Holly Hull, who's stuck away so many goals. Close him. That's it, Cooper. And now Isaac Robinson, teamwork makes the dream work defensively. Charlie Green with the ball. Here's Latov Lovici working up to a third goal, possibly. And uh, Accrington Stanley look absolutely bewildered at this point. We've got 60% possession on the board. We have been just truly tremendous. Like, even Chesterfield might have problems with us if we play like this. Half time, 2 0. Right. Oh, I've got my. Okay, right. No, no, no. That's the reason why it was so good in the first half. I didn't wear this absolutely diabolical thing. Let's go, Vilho. Guan Sun, all the way down the line. It's Ilpo Vilho. Uh, and he's running out of stamina already. Uh, but he wins the ball. Oh, come on. No. How is he injured through that? Robinson. That's ridiculous. He's getting back up. Get back up, Bilbo. We need you. Billy, you're going down. Yeah, another injury on the field. It's a war zone down there. Castaneda to Harvey Hall. Vilho is onside, but can he catch it? Yeah! Ilpo still carrying an injury. Come on, lad! Oh! Heroic by Ilpo Vilho. Throwing. Castaneda will give it to Yuko Ike. Oh, my thumb grips come off. Ah! Souza, that is a ball and a half to Jackson. Could have been 2 1. Souza got taken off for that. Best bit of play all game for Accrington Stanley. And the manager's gone. Get out. Go. Leave now. Axelson has been solid so far on that wing. Oh, and he continues that. Axelson, yes. Wonderful. Gets it back and plays it to Latov Lovici. Running. Heads. Yes, yes, yes. Ilpo Vilho. He's recovered from that injury. Harvey Hall. Strength. Fake shot. Skill. Oh, Vilho. Why not? Where's running gone? It is. It's this shirt. This shirt is killing me. McLeod. Narrows the angle. Yes, Kude collects. And Kude just aimed for Harvey Hall. And then we'll bring it down to Castaneda. Oh, it's wonderful. You go EK from the long range. Long range. Japanese spectacular in my head. Real life. Waste of a chance. Let's go now. Harvey Hall. Here we are. Castaneda. So many bodies forward for Lincoln City. How possibly could we screw this up? Yuko Ike's just passed it to the goalkeeper. That's how. Oh, Cooper's made a mess of it. And I think this guy's onside. This guy is more than onside. He's a goal scorer. Stanley have had enough good fortune from us to last a lifetime. Well done, Vilho. It's full time. It was touch and go through that second half and I am definitely blaming this shirt from now on if we do anything bad. At the end of it, amazingly, Accrington had more shots. We had so much of the ball, just everything in that first half. Ooh, I mean, like, if we can properly slip up, we could be in an automatic promotion spot, but that is... That's way too far-fetched. All right, now we've got Exeter away from home. They've got a very strong lineup. The lowest being a 60 overall. They've got a 61, but most of this averaging around 65 overall. Give me some league positions. I'm expecting Exeter to be up there. Exeter City, fifth. We're both in the playoffs. This is going to be... A crazy, crazy game. I, can't, I still can't believe 10 teams are battling out for four places in the playoffs. Reed's gonna go wide. Tackle. Oh, he's completely missed. Right then. We've got Harvey Clark in the middle. Oh, I had to rely on Kude. That wasn't good. Half time, it's 0 0 between Exeter and Lincoln City. A point's no good for either side. Well, how many times have I said that already through this series? 
How is that offside? No! One mistake by either side could be curtains for their playoff ambitions. Harvey Hall, he's not been able to shrug off Archibald Henville for much time, but there you go, Harvey Hall has scored. And it's 1-0 Lincoln City. Finally, shrugging off the attention of the defence, there's Harvey Hall with, I think, his 26th, 27th goal. And Kelly waits. Yes, Kiroga. There's Mason, Ollie Mason with the first-time shot. It's a 1-0 win for Lincoln City, and that might just guarantee us a place in the playoffs. Please, please let us get beat in the playoffs. Wickham Wanderers, only three points ahead of us. Bristol Rovers fourth. Then it's us, Chesterfield Exeter City, round off the playoff spots. We've got Forest Green Crew Alexandra on the same point as Exeter, with Coventry City one point behind them. Colchester and Barnet two points behind Exeter City, with Crawley Town probably the first team outside the top 12 that don't have a realistic chance of going up. Ugh. And there's only like three games left to play. I don't like Colchester, and it's not about their kit, it's not about their badge, it's not about the team. I'm sure the players are quite nice to get on with if I ever had a talk to one of them. It's because of their stadium name. It's the only stadium name in England that I couldn't fit into the, you know, the stadium modification thing in the main menu. So it's the Colchester Com Stadium actually Colchester Community Stadium on the 27th of April 2019 with three games to go in League 2. Coming up next, the league's top goal scorer. There he is, Harvey Hall. <laughs> the league currently is representing us quite fairly. I think anything from 4th to 10th would be a good representation of how decent this squad has been through this season. We've shipped too many goals in to be automatic promotion candidates. And if we do get automatic promotion, if Wickham do screw up, I don't know what I'm going to... I'm going to be so angry. I, uh, it feels like sometimes FIFA is just giving you the promotion. And all of a sudden, the top three start losing games. It's like basically FM. It's FM in reverse. Oh. Good. Colchester score. Latov Lavici and Castaneda. Now Harvey Hall, oh, is, it the, oh, is it the base of the post? How close can you get? Probably that, that, that's probably as close as it gets. Are Colchester even in this title race, the promotion race? I don't know. But they're coming here with a certain freedom that my guys are lacking. I'm gonna try and bring Kuday out for this one. Oh! Well done, lads. Uh, somehow, he didn't go out until Kude saved it. So a big well done to Kude. Yes. Walker's made the one save. Kude's made seven now. Kude, Kude, Kude. It must be Kude. Oh, we can take it. All the strength in the world, that of Luigi, and then you miss the header. There's not that many times where I, I think to myself, you know what, I wish I could change the formation. YSL has always been about the 4-2-4. Most of the time, because I like playing this formation, it works out, but... Tell you what, I'd love to change the formation in this game because the midfield, it, it, they are struggling big time. Finally, a chance for the midfield to do something. Charlie Green. Yes. Alright, Castaneda, this is it! Castaneda! Yes! Out of nowhere, Lincoln City! Now let's go, boys. 63 minutes. I'm just trying to defend, trying to hang on. It's all paid off. Because we now have the goal, and we are now on level terms. Beautifully executed, that finish by Castaneda. Slowly trickled into the bottom corner. Colchester are 2-1 now. And you can't say they don't deserve it. They've been so, so good. That did not last. They woke up. They just switched on and they were like, no, we've been the better side. Give us our lead back. Oh, look at that ball. I couldn't not go for the interception. Isaac Robinson with the red card. Last man. He's got the shot off. It's pretty harsh. Guthrie can kill it, but Kude will make sure that this is saved. Yes, Kude! Yes, yes, yes! Get him! I don't know how I got that away as well because the passing was awful. 
Just rushing it too much. Look, Harvey Clark. Harvey Clark at right back is one of the furthest men forward. Someone give me a tally on how many penalties Kude has saved. I'm thinking he's around five this season, which is an immense amount. It's just a shame that he'll be nowhere near the Golden Glove. Oh my, how are we only a goal behind? Kude with the punch. Running... Yes, gets his head all spot on and Sandoval can take this away. Senior's already scored against us, can we just not? Mandron, 3-1 Colchester. Oh, and it's been coming. It's been coming for a long, long time. So no one can complain. Ref's not going to cover himself in glory. That's kind of sh overshadowing the, the fact that Colchester were far the superior side and definitely deserved the win. Isaac Robinson staying on the field, Kude making the stop from the penalty. You never know, it could have been 2-2 two -two and we could have been hailing a wonderful fight, even though we weren't exactly in the game at all. They had 18 shots, 10 on target, only could score 3. Massive, massive well done to Kude there. Colchester are there, so Colchester are fighting for it. I don't want to meet Colchester, I don't want to meet Chesterfield. Well that just about does it for us going up automatically, which is great because we do not deserve it, therefore it should never happen. I think we might be able to say that Coventry City and Barnet are going to stay around League 2. Colchester Forest Green crew within one win away from seventh. I don't think this has been Harvey Hall's best month, but there he is with the player of the month. Big smile on his face, still got his boxing tape on. Next episode we'll be covering the end of the season and then the episode after that we'll be running through everybody's stats. Jamie Phillips gone up by seven. I don't even think I've trained this guy but he's making significant strides. So this has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, then hit that red box to do so. Press the bell for mobile notifications, and I will see you next time.